So I'm Raphael, I'm the CEO of a project called Alice, and we're a social impact network uh, built, on, built on Ethereum. Uh, the whole goal of Alice is to help um, identify and then scale uh, really effective social and environmental projects. heart-based uh, you know, project. So Thank how you. did you get into philanthropy-based work? Uh, so myself, I used to, um, I used to work in, uh, in the advocacy world and I actually first uh, created a startup that was all around advocacy and activism. Um, and it's at that point that I saw that there was a really big trust issue that donors um, don't always trust wh what impact their money is making, how charities are using it, etc. So we wanted to work on a solution that would reverse that and actually instill trust in the in the whole system. So the first um, first application or the first bit of the protocol, because uh, it's quite a complex protocol, is a conditional donation platform. So when you give to a charity, your money only gets paid out when uh, the charity can demonstrate that it's actually achieved its goals. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. That, Thank you. Because I think a lot of people do. Uh, they, they don't give just because they're worried that they're giving their money to a charity that's spending it on administration and promotion or even worse, corruption. Yeah, well, so exactly. So it's if you know that you only pay for success, then you're, you're much more likely to give. Obviously, there's nothing that substitutes the, uh, the, the, the emotions and, the, and, the, and the, the motivations, the real like humanitarian motivations, etc., for, for giving. But obviously, it's a, it's a big blocker if you're, if you're not quite sure how it's going to be, going to be spent. But the, the admin um, debate is actually really interesting. So we actually don't track the flow of money. Um, so we don't track how much goes to admin, how much goes to the CEO's salary or whatever. What we track is the actual is the actual impact. impact. Yeah, because th there's way too much focus, even though that's important, right? You want charities to be as efficient as possible. Uh, but there's way too much focus on the on the admin debate. Um, and what it leads to is that charities just try to be leaner and leaner and leaner. And if you're too lean, you can't measure your, your impact properly. Uh, you can't measure your your outcomes you can't report properly uh, you can't upgrade your technical infrastructure so you have a lot of like legacy systems in charities that are stopping them from being effective so that's why we track the the actual impact so when you give uh, uh, something to a charity um, they'll have preset goals where they say for example the first pilot that we ran in London was helping homeless people find homes and so they would get paid a certain amount of money every time uh, an independent validator right. checked the rental agreements and made sure that they'd gone into their homes basically so there is there is an element there and actually what we were demoing today is that we the second bit of the protocol is an impact investment module uh, because the one of the challenges with our system is the charities get paid after the fact so how do you run a project if you're only going to get the money afterwards and that's where impact investors come in so they provide working capital uh, they underwrite the risk of projects failing so if no goals are achieved they they lose uh, they lose their money but if uh, the projects are achieved then they get uh, they get a certain they get their money back plus a small interest so right. that interest is essentially the price that you pay, right. that the whole ecosystem pays for that transparency mm -hmm. and the security. And people are happy to pay that if they get what they wanted. Well, exactly. I think it's it, that's why we're building on the blockchain. Is like it's all a question of transparency. If all of the costs are laid out in a transparent way and people know exactly what they're getting into, uh, it's much easier to to give rather than wondering. Where is it gone? Right. What is it like gone? People to? are happy to pay a little higher taxes if they're actually getting great government benefits, for example. Yeah, exactly. Or at least that's the assumption, right? <laughs> so we're at the very beginning, and we'll see we'll see how it works. But uh, certainly, the um, all of the like the first pilot went really well, and uh, we we've got like a bunch of charities now that we're going to uh, launch new appeals for um, and we'll have to see we'll have to see how it how it grows and how it Great. goes yeah well I wish you the best I just want to get one last question about how maybe the ethereum alarm clock 
could be involved with this type of model, you know, of scheduling transactions for the future. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Well, one, one obvious um, use case might be uh, monthly giving, right? Yeah. So uh, charities really like the, the recurrent giving, um, and we could set up a system where you can give a monthly donation to this project. Obviously, it will always, it, it's, uh, it's money that will be sent to the escrow contract that we have, and the money itself will only be paid out when the charity achieves its goals, but at least there's that constant influx of money uh, which uh, which really helps scale projects right as long as right. they're as they're achieving their goals so yeah Great, it sounds like it could work. Yeah, definitely. So how can people learn more about your project? Ah, uh, so please go onto uh, our website, alice.si. So SI stands for social impact. Alice is like Alice and Bob, because Alice is always giving money to Bob. <laughs> uh, and there's loads of information there. You can also head to, there's a link to our GitHub, to our white paper, uh, to all kinds of, uh, of resources, so yeah. Great, I wish you the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.